I'm going to go over the process of using Microsoft Deployment Toolkit to sysprep and capture a customized Windows 11 Pro reference image. To start, I've got a working deployment share, which I created in the previous video, which I'll link in the description, which shows you how to set up Windows Deployment Services and Microsoft Deployment Toolkit, to, which shows you how to deploy a Windows 11 image over the network. So to start the capture, I'm going to create a new deployment share called Deployment Share Capture, and then do Next. And with the share name, we'll call it Deployment Share Capture. And then for the description, add Capture to the end as well. Leave these as standard, and then Next to create the deployment share. Now, the reason we want to create a new deployment share to do the captures is because there is a property we need to set in the rules called OS capture equals to yes. Now this conflicts um, if you do this on a deployment share while you're trying to deploy images. So I create a secondary deployment share, which is purely for capturing operating systems. So we can apply that. Now, while we're in here, there are a couple of changes we can make. Under the general tab, we can untick the x86 because Windows 11 doesn't have an x86 variant. Under Windows PE, we can change this drop down to x64 and then untick this light touch bootable ISO uh, because that isn't needed. We just want the WIM file. And then under monitoring, we can tick to enable the monitoring and then apply and OK. Now what we need to do is under operating systems, right click and import an operating system. Now the source files you want to use is the same source files you use to create the reference image of the Windows 11 machine you want to capture. So in this example, I've got an ISO file, which is the same as I used to create the reference image. So I'm just going to right click and mount it to the server. So it's on the E drive and then select full set of source files and then browse and then select the E drive. This will let me import all those files into the deployment workbench. Now, for some reason, the Windows 11 version 21 H2 uh, identifies as Windows 10 for some reason. So I'll just rename this to Windows 11 and then press next and then next to import those operating system files. Now the operating systems have finished importing, we can press finish to close the wizard. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the uh, operating system that I want to use, which is the standard pro version. And I'm just gonna rename it to Windows 11 Pro uh, because the old show is Windows 10, even though it is Windows 11. Now, if we go to task sequences, right click and do new task sequence. Now we'll give this a task sequence ID of uh, Win11 Pro Capture. Task sequence name, Windows 11 Pro Capture. And then I'll just paste that into the comments. Now for a standard deployment, you would use the standard ta client task sequence. But for this one, we want to use the sysprep and capture and then press next. I'm gonna select the Windows 11 Pro operating system and then press next. Do not specify a key at this time. Next, uh, set an organization and then just fill this in and then do next. Set a local admin password, which will be applied to the machine once it's redeployed and then next and then next, and then finish. And now we've got our Windows 11 Pro capture task sequence. Now the final thing to do on the server is right click the capture deployment share and do update deployment share. Select completely regenerate the boot images and then press next and then next to regenerate the boot image. Now the deployment share has finished updating we can press finish to close the wizard and then move over to our Windows 11 reference image. Now I'm on my reference image. I've installed all of the software I want to be on the reference image. I've also made any amendments that might be needed. Uh, so I'm ready to sysprep and capture. 
Now before we can do that, I'll just need to check that this machine isn't on a local Active Directory domain. So it should just be um, in a work group. Domain or work group. And it's just in a work group as you cannot sysprep a machine that is connected to a local Active Directory domain. So that's not on a domain. So to start the sysprep and capture process, if you right click the start and go to run, and then browse to the deployment share capture file share that was created before. And then OK. And then in the deployment share capture file share, go to scripts and then search for light touch and you want the VBS script file. So just right click it and press open. And then press yes to the user account control. Now we're in the deployment share wizard. We can select the Windows 11 Pro capture task sequence and then do next. We can specify to capture an image of this reference computer. By default, it will save it to the deployment server in the deployment share capture share in a subfolder called captures with the name that is the uh, task sequence ID. I'm just going to add the date at the end of this just to make it a bit easier. And then press next. I'm just going to add in some credentials uh, that have permission over the deployment share. And then press next. On this final window, it will show us the details of everything we've selected. And then we can just press begin to start the sysprep and capture wizard. Once you press begin, there's nothing you need to do. It will uh, start the sysprep, sysprep process, automatically reboot the machine into the uh, boot when we created, when we regenerated the deployment share. And then it will uh, go through all that without us having to do anything else and automatically save that wooden file. So I'm just going to press begin to start the process. Now that that task sequence is finished, you shouldn't have any errors. You might get some warnings. I seem to always get this unable to create web service class. I'm not entirely sure what causes this, but it always seems to work fine with uh, with these warnings. So now that that's finished, we can go back to our deployment server. Now we're on our deployment server. If we go to our deployment share capture and then the captures folder, we should have a wing file. Uh, of that operating system we've just captured. Now what we need to do is, in our standard deployment share, go to operating systems and create a new folder called custom images. And then within the custom images folder, import an operating system, but this time use custom image file and next, and then select that custom WIM file we've just captured in the deployment share capture, captures, and then select the WIM file, and then press open, and then next, and then you don't need to uh, do any setup files because everything you need is in that WIM file, uh, or specified in the task sequence we're about to create in a minute, and then do next, and then we can give it uh, name. I will just leave this as Win11 Pro Capture, but you can give it something custom if it's a, for a specific device or a specific application. And then next, and then next. Now that that's finished importing, we can press finish, and we can see our Windows 11 Capture. What I'll do is I'll just rename this now to call this uh, Windows 11. Pro custom. Then in task sequences, we've got our standard Windows 11 Pro deployment. So I'm just going to create a new task sequence by right clicking the task sequence folder 
and do new task sequence. We will call this um, Win 11 Pro Custom and then Windows 11 Pro Custom Image. And then next, then we want to use a standard client task sequence. And then next, and then we want to expand our custom images folder and then select the Windows 11 Pro Custom or whatever you named your file. Then next, leave do not specify key this time. Next, fill in this, uh, fill in the organization and this. And then next, specify a password for the local administrator account. Then next, then next to create the task sequence. So now we've got our custom task sequence created. We need to boot into our uh, deployment server. So I'll just open up a new virtual machine and then start and then boot into the deployment server. Now we're in our Windows deployment server. We've got our standard Windows 11 Pro deployment as well as the Windows 11 Pro custom image, which is the image that we've captured. So I'll select that one and then do next. Then what we can do is we can give this a name. We'll call this um, Win11 Pro Test uh, 01. Where we want it to add it to the domain in this OU. So we'll leave that standard, then do next and then begin to deploy the custom image. We can see now that that deployment has completed successfully. And we can see by the desktop icons that all of the software has also came across as, um, as that was baked into the image. If we go to system, we should be able to see that it's named correctly. Yeah, Win11 Protest01, and it's added to the domain. What I'll do is just quickly sign out to make sure I can sign in with a domain account. And I've successfully logged in with a domain account, and I can see that it's already started to apply the group policies. So I'm happy that this is all working correctly. So that's how you use the SysPrep and Capture functionality within Microsoft Deployment Toolkit to capture a reference image and then deploy it again to other machines.